Food awakening for one Memphis man who was shot while he was sleeping. Tonight, Memphis police are investigating the early morning gunfire. Police say the victim was asleep when bullets came through his apartment, sending him to the hospital. Action News 5's Kelly Cook live now with the latest on the investigation. And Kelly, you have a response from city leaders about this ongoing, seemingly never ending crime problem. Uh, that's right, Joy. Now, Memphis police says that victim was taken to Regional 1 in non-critical condition following what has been clearly a very scary night for the folks in that apartment complex. I'm talking about like, like you was in Afghanistan or something. The, the bullets and stuff coming out of your gun, man. It was, it, was, it, was, it was serious out here last night. Sherwood Brown says it sounded like a war zone inside the Shadow Brook Town Homes in Parkway Village around 1 a.m. Friday. I, I jumped straight up out of my sleep and run downstairs because it, it sounded just like it was right here in front of my house. The bullets were actually hitting its neighbor's house on Eagle River Road. In the daylight, you could see the damage. Police found 60 spent rifle and handgun rounds in the parking lot. One of those bullets hit a 22-year-old man in his arm while he was asleep in his room. Over here in Parkway Village, you always hearing the police, you hearing cars flying up and down the street. According to the city of Memphis crime map, just in the past three months, there have been more than 60 reported crimes within a quarter mile of this apartment complex. There are hot spots for crimes like this one across the city. Thursday, I asked Memphis City Councilman Ford Canale about his priorities for addressing crime in the new year. More police presence is certainly what we need. We need to infiltrate the gang units that are recruiting our children off the streets and becoming child soldiers because they know that the penalties are far less for juveniles they, uh, than they are for adults. In the meantime, police are searching for yet another group of suspects in another gun crime. That's making life in Memphis so difficult for so many. If I had the money, yeah, I probably would move. You know, I don't I don't have the, the money to 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 find me no home. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't want to stay in Memphis. Memphis police officers say surveillance footage shows three dark colored sedans that were circling and driving by that apartment multiple times before the incident occurred. The victim in this shooting says he does not know the shooters. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers 901-528-CASH. Live, Kelly Cook, Action News 5.